Hello YouTube! This is unboxing and first look at the Ace Beam W30, the first laser flashlight. This is the Ace Beam W30, one of the world's first commercially available laser flashlights. This is a 65K ice blue color output model designed and manufactured by Shenzhen Zenbon Technology in China. The flashlight comes packaged neatly in a black heavy duty box detailing some of the specifications and some of the applications. The box comes with the flashlight neatly presented in a presentation style box with foam. It also includes a red filter which screws onto the lens of the torch, a rechargeable battery, a USB charging cable, a warranty card, a quick start guide and a lanyard. Specifications. The flashlight has a beam range of 2408 meters which equates to 2.5 kilometers with 1.8 degrees of divergence arc. It is 500 lumens output with 1,450,000 candela beam intensity. It weighs in at 248 grams without the battery, which is almost identical to the weight of the DJI Mavic Mini drone. It is about 20 centimeters long. It's approved by the Food and Drug Administration of America. It is also approved by the Portable Lights American Trade Association and compliant with restrictions on hazardous substances. It is CE certified for Europe and the United Kingdom. The flashlight comes with one year's manufacturer's warranty as standard. It is waterproof to 100 meters and impact resistant to one meter. It is extremely simple to use the torch, there's only one button, on and off. The button also indicates the health of the battery. Green means the battery is in good health, red means the battery needs to be charged. The battery should last for 1 hour and 45 minutes on continuous use. The flashlight has digital regulated output, which means it maintains a constant brightness throughout the operation. The flashlight is made of aerospace grade aluminium alloy with a premium anti-abrasive finish. Looks fantastic, feels really nice in the hand. Also comes with a belt clip. This flashlight is well suited for hunting, diving, search and rescue and self-defense applications. Particularly self-defense as it's powerful enough to blind, disorientate or incapacitate anyone within 100 meters with ease. The torch is legal in the UK, Europe and most other locations. Primarily it is certified as a flashlight as opposed to a native laser and as such skirts many of the regulations around lasers. That being said, do not point the beam towards people, animals or aircraft as it could get you in trouble. The flashlight is available from Amazon for £205 in the UK. Please check the description for links. Um, we're in the middle of summer, so it's going to take a long time before it gets dark, and I can show you the beam shots from this particular torch. Um, I'm going to compare it to the Imland DX80, which is um, a spread beam. It's 60,000 lumens compared to 500. I'm also going to show you it off in comparison to the LED Lenser P7R, which is uh, in between solar torch you can use it as a floodlight or you could use it as a focus light using the patented technology. Um, it should be interesting to see how these three compare. They're all three are high-end professional military grade uh, torches but obviously this one is going to be the best spotlight out of the three. This one is probably the best at short ranges and this one would be absolutely superb if you own a, a farm and you need to light up a large area. Um, yeah. Quite windy, I'm going to take the drone up 
now uh, and get some beam shots of the sky as well. It's now turned into dusk. Just waiting for it to get a little bit darker. But I've got the Imolent DX80, the Beam W30, and the LED lens there, P7R. This is a thousand lumens. As you can see, you can hardly see it on the trees. The Himalayan DX80. Reaches that tree over there, which is about 50, 50 meters. one we're going to be looking at today, the Ace Beam W30 laser flashlight. Torch, just press it and it's on, I don't know if you can see the beam. I won't direct it directly at the camera because I don't want to burn the lens out. There's no spill like traditional lights. You can literally use this as a searchlight. It's got a nice green button which turns red when the battery uh, starts going down. It's got a pocket clip, although I wouldn't recommend using this as a pocket torch. If you look at the lens on it, it's got a really nice lens. It feels really nice, it's a nice torch, it's a nice weight to it. I really think if you're doing search and rescue, or you're out just looking for a cat or something like that, this would be absolutely perfect. Obviously you'd have to have a, a broader torch as well to spread the light, but if you just want to pinpoint something in the distance, this is perfect. Obviously the beam will go two and a half kilometers. First I'm going to do a quick 50 meter test just to show you what you would see if you were looking at these torches from that distance. I'm going to start off with the Imolent DX80. As you can see it's really bright. A really good scatter of light with that torch. Great if you want to light up a large area. It throws out a lot of energy, gets really hot. But the battery life isn't great. Next I'm looking at the LED lens of P7R. This is a thousand lumens. Again, it's quite bright. It's not as bright as the other two. It's a really good torch for short ranges and close-up work because you've got multiple modes. So you can dim the light down and obviously you can zoom in and zoom out using the lens. Next, I'm looking at the Ace Beam W30. This is 500 lumens, although this light is extremely focused. There's no ability to unfocus the light, so it's more of a permanent spotlight. As you can see, there's no light bleed. The light is poor, but when you look into the light, even from 50 yards, it's blinding. This is literally weapons grade. You could use this as a self-defense tool with ease. I'm just shining it around, showing you how effective it is. Next, I'm looking at the drone. Um, I'm going to try and fly the drone and light the drone up with the torches. The wind has picked up, but I'm going to continue. Uh, we did it to get dark. I've got the drone in the air. To conclude, this is a powerful flashlight and one of the best spotlights on the market today. It has good design, excellent optics and is overbuilt with a solid construction which can be used in any environment with any wear condition. 
The flashlight can be continuously used for its entire battery cycle of just under two hours without overheating or degrading in performance. The ergonomics are nice, it is nice and light and is easy to keep in a backpack or glove box. It fits nice in the hand and is extremely easy to use with simple on and off functionality. It is heavily limited to specific applications due to the mechanics of the beam throw. In effect, it's a permanent spotlight. And when you factor in the significant cost of over £200, it is likely going to be infeasible for a lot of everyday tasks. The flashlight is best suited to search and rescue, or could be mounted on a rifle for tactical use. As this is one of the first little flashlights on the market, I expect the cost to decrease and the power output and operational time to increase through new developments and associated savings. But overall, this is going to be one of the smallest and most powerful spotlights on the market today. If you're looking for a spotlight, this one is highly recommended. Could blaze like meteors and be gay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Do not go gentle into that good night.